tell you the preparation started here in this warehouse as early as yesterday and early this morning people were lined up getting ready to pick up 550 meals and distribute them to area seniors. The preparations have been ongoing for weeks. For Meals on Wheels South Florida, this marks 30 years of delivering hot Thanksgiving meals to seniors who otherwise may not get one. I think being alone on the holidays is hard for anyone, but especially for a senior who's homebound and they have no family or friends to come visit. The holidays are really a tough time for people. Executive Director Mark Adler says 250 volunteers come together on this day to hit the streets and deliver 550 Thanksgiving meals along with fresh flowers and some fellowship. It's a special thing to give someone a hot meal, particularly on this day. Uh, it is called Thanksgiving. You know, and in my house, I, I tell everybody we give thanks and we give. Former NFL player and South Florida resident Jack Brewer says this has become a Thanksgiving tradition for his family. It's a blessing. It'd be a double blessing with me every morning. His kids were with him as he made a delivery to Mary Jane McFadden in Pompano Beach. And I love this life. To be able to get out of your own neighborhood, you know, break out of your bubble, um, to actually go uh, and look people in the eye and give them that love and that affection and those folks that really need it. I mean, I think we all should do that. And of course, Meals on Wheels serves their clients year round, but they say Thanksgiving is a really special time of year, both for the people receiving those meals and as well for the people who come out here and really make this a tradition of teaching the next generation to give back. Something everyone told us today is so important, especially on Thanksgiving. We're live today in Pompano Beach. I'm Amy Viteri, Local 10 News.